Hi my favorite people! Welcome to the world of fully hooded eye makeup. My name is Vera and I'm a professional makeup artist. And I have fully hooded eyes, downturned outer corners and epicanthic folds, all inclusive. This video is packed, packed with value, makeup techniques and so much more. Now let's begin. First, make sure you have the right brush shapes. The more tapered and flat blenders you have, the better. And of course, two sizes of bullet brushes, the more, the better. Another thing I always like to use is a disposable hand palette. It's just so comfortable and no mess. Very nice thing. So first one is number nine, medium brown. I'm just gonna squeeze a little bit. If you feel like this brown is too dark for you today, for example, then you can easily mix with nude number eight. They are mixing and blending like a dream, so no worries. Just mix them like this with flat blender. This one turned into beautiful nude, not too light as the previous one, like concealer, but also not too dark as medium brown, so you can adjust the way you like. Next, I'm going to circle my eye shape. And this is the pattern you will get first. Blend out towards your lash line. Make sure it's just a super thin layer. You have to feel like it's even a little dry and not enough. But trust me, it's so pigmented, it will be enough. But this way, you will minimize creasing. With the same brush, you can just blend the edges. And this is it. Now you can just apply mascara, highlight your inner corners, and you're ready to go. But of course, we will continue. Now these are your best friends. These are two bullet brushes in two different sizes. Both are absolutely amazing and must-haves. Congratulations if you already have them. Let's create a dimension. So I'm gonna squeeze a little bit of black because I want to create a darker brown. These two tiny dots I'm gonna be mixing together. And I'm gonna be doing this with my bigger bullet brush. So again, I'm working above my crease. I'm going to create a lifted outer V. Now I'm going to be using my favorite eyeshadow placement formula. Connect the highest point of the crease with the extending direction of the lower lash line. And I'm going to blend out the edges with the smaller bullet brush. This is what you get, and this is totally fine. I'm going to blend inner edge. If I see any holes, any mistakes, I'm getting the previous one with leftovers. And just filling the gaps and fixing imperfections, kind of like feathering. Now it's great to use a clean tapered brush. Get rid of the excess of the product, minimizing the creasing. Same here. Now I'm going to set it. It's a clean tapered brush and setting powder. Too Faced born this way. When I set first, I'm making sure I don't have any excess of the product and then I'm setting. Also blend the edges. And this is not the finished product because we also have to clean the edges and align them. So to be continued. Now let's add some mascara. My favorite, Essence Lash Princess. This one is waterproof. You hold up your brows. I'm squeezing a little bit of nude flat definer brush. Pick up a little bit of product and let this magic happen. My favorite part, let's add some lashes. These are quick and natural enhancers from my website. These are the suppliers I'm working with many years. Uh, these lashes are not available on TikTok or Amazon because these are pretty special. The best ones I've tried and I've tried. <laughs> Tones is still a small number out of what I've tried. Even clients that has allergy to uh, glue or something like that, they were totally fine using this glue. So I'm 100% sure in this. Going to squeeze a little bit. Your first lash at the outer corner have to connect and continue the direction of the extending lower lash line. Also, the entire lash clusters at the outer corner might be too bulky, so I always like to divide my first two lash clusters into two pieces. Let's check the progress. Definitely something already is going on. Next is size 13. And this one I'm not going to divide, I'm just gonna place the whole cluster. I'm holding mirror in here so I can see my lash line and where I'm placing. And I'm kind of placing a little bit on the top of the last one. And 10. Same technique. 
pressing to help them stick and set and stick and set mm -hmm. please accept the fact that individual lashes are the star of the hooded eye makeup let's create a wing i'm gonna squeeze just a little bit of black creamy eyeshadows or eyeshadow base is the same thing number 10. when i'm sketching wing liner i have these brushes together these are angled eyeliner brush and bullet brush now i'm gonna what i'm gonna i'm gonna bring a little bit of product <laughs> So I look straight and my face is completely relaxed and I place my wing where I think it looks the best. Then connect nicely everything and keep sketching out. Try to place your wing not right on the fold. On the fold you're just going to blend in inwards. And as you already can see bullet brush was created for this step. It's a perfect baby for smudging your eyeliner. Pick up a little bit more product and I want to intensify just a wing so I'm not touching this area. I'm gonna touch only here. Maybe a little bit just like this let's see the progress with the right approach you can achieve just like classy looking wing not broken or bad wing i already can feel that makeup transformation that also works inside uh, that makes me feel that confident strong woman <laughs> i mean this is great uh, this is great <laughs> everything you have to know about me i'm clumsy isn't it magic isn't it magic <laughs> so again you can't substitute lashes with dark eyeshadows you can't substitute lashes with anything else because smoky even with dark eyeshadows also needs lashes without lashes it's gonna look like like something is still missing because the hood the droopiness won't be covered and only with the right lash structure like you can get with lash clusters or individual lashes you can get always great results your epicanthic folds are great embrace them instead of using your eyelid to show off color or sparkles you can highlight your inner corners this area is great spot to add some pop all you need are two bullet brushes one for lining your inner corners and the other to blend out the edges top of the flat blender is also perfect for blending the edges the right formula is key which is why i have launched my own eyeshadow base it works just like creamy eyeshadows and doesn't require setting with powder eyeshadows however it's always a good idea to set it with with translucent powder you can skip this step at the inner corners but always set your eyelids brand happy eyelids is cruelty free and vegan friendly this velvety texture blends like a dream also some formulas that crease less can be too dry and hardly blendable emphasizing texture but this one will be definitely looking great on mature skin as well about creasing let's face it finding a formula that won't crease on our lovely hooded folds is like chasing after a unicorn well i mean this product is still a winner it's amazing and playing around with this is a pure joy You'll i just want to be transparent with you and i want you to know what are you getting for this money so the creasing factor varies based on skin type climate and sweat resistance also techniques matters make sure you don't apply too much product on the fold and always setting it's definitely long lasting and waterproof so get ready to slay those eye looks with ease if you watched till this moment oh my god thank you so much you're amazing let me know if you have any questions if you enjoyed this makeup tutorial and you got this baby